Hello, welcome to Paint Club. Today we're painting a neon flamingo. The supplies we're using is a canvas, two flat brushes, a large one and a small one, acrylic paint, and a cup and some napkins to clean our brushes. We're going to start off by painting our entire canvas black. I'm filling it in all the way, and then we're going to give it a little time to dry so we can paint in our flamingo next. Now to draw in our flamingo. We're gonna start off by drawing in the jawline. It's like a little bit like a U shape. And then I'm drawing in that neck that's nice and long. I'm gonna bring it as close as I can to the edge. And I'm also carving out the bottom of the body of the flamingo. That ends right in the middle of the canvas. Then I'm gonna come back to the top and I'm gonna do the top half of the head and come around and do the back of the neck of the flamingo. Then I'm going to start carving out that body. Here is one of his wings. So he has one wing. We're looking at him on the side. And I added his little beak in there. If you can see, my lines are really loose. They're not perfect. Because in the beginning, you want to not be too harsh on yourself. You want to just get that paint on there. Draw it in the best you can. Because when in doubt, you can always use black like an eraser and clean up, clean up any of your extra lines. So I'm just bringing back that body in there, kind of going over it a few times so I can also see my drawing steps. And then I'm going to draw in those legs. It's so important to end the body in the middle of the canvas so you have space to add those long flamingo legs. They're so beautiful. And it ends with a little foot that's the, the shape of a diamond. Now I'm using that black, cleaning up any extra spaces. This is a great time to also like and subscribe. Also hit that bell button so you can be the first to see any of my new videos. Now I'm using a really light paint because my fluorescent paint did not sit well at all. It just blended right into my black background. So I'm using a pink with a ton of white and I'm going right over my outlines. This time I'm being a little bit more specific with my lines. So everything is very sharp. It's standing out. There is that beautiful jaw. You can see how that neck is really long and gets super close to the edge, but it's not touching the edge either. And then we have the wing and a little bit of the bottom of the body is showing. I also have that beautiful long beak and those legs that we were talking about now the first layer of this paint is really thin and see-through so i'm gonna go over it go over it a few times so it's super vibrant and stand out and stands out and so now i know that i've done a few layers i'm gonna do a few layers of fluorescent pink but it's always good as you're doing these layers to let it dry so i'm leaving it alone i'm gonna let it dry a bit for now since this is a neon light you know the light is shining on that black background and that is the color that i'm creating next this is a burgundy color so it's that pink mixed with black now i slightly change the burgundy color sometimes i make it lighter and then i make it a little darker and i'm going around the outlines in the inside and the outside of the flamingo giving the illusion that it's releasing light it's so much fun take your time with it i still try to stay a little bit close to the pink lines i don't go too far but in some places i get a little bit more looser with it as you start to see the progression of this you will be able to see my strokes a little bit better i'm going to bring my camera a little bit closer but i'm just playing with those burgundy colors going back and forth making it lighter and darker now i'm going to make them a lot lighter and they're going to stand out in such a beautiful way almost creating like these highlights so you can see now that i'm really pushing that lightness so it feels like it's even glowing more and you can really experiment with this and do a lot more if you really wanted to um, but when in doubt if you ever make a mistake just use some black and clean it right up
Okay, so now that we're closer, you can really see that glowing technique that we just added. I love it. Now I'm going to go back over my flamingo with a ton of layers of this fluorescent paint. This fluorescent paint is so cool. When you hit it with a black light, it actually glows. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see that. It's really beautiful to the eyes. Okay, now that it's all done, the last thing we need to do is our little pupil. Don't forget that. Now that I've let it dry, this is our very last step. We're going to be using a white line going right through the middle of our pink lines. We're going to go throughout our whole flamingo and add this thin white line. I'm using an acrylic pen. This is really cool because when you use... A brush it can be a lot harder to keep the line thin and steady and right in the middle especially because I made my pink lines so thin but it worked out perfectly so I'm just gonna go throughout my whole flamingo adding this white line And here is our masterpiece. Oh, so beautiful. Now in the back, that one doesn't have fluorescent paint and this one does. So you can see that they look a little bit different, but they both work. If you don't have fluorescent paint, no worries. Now I have so many cute classes on my channel. Please stay tuned. Here is the glowing version. I hope you had a good time watching. Bye.